What's up, y'all? It's Jose with The Riz. I just changed my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And today I'm chilling with Fernando. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, yeah. We're going to be talking about the John Moran incident. So let's get right into it. You know that John Moran's been making headlines lately about all that social media that he's been going live, like pulling out a gun and stuff and, you know, acting crazy. You know, we're talking about an NBA superstar who has risen so high up and he's, you know, the face of uh, the Grizzlies right now. What do you think of that, Fernando? Listen, man, for a man that's about to become potentially the face of the NBA, there's so much hype behind him. He's so good. He's so athletic. He's he's out there dominating. He's leading the Grizzlies back to the to the playoffs. Right. For for a, a man of that caliber who's worth nine figures, man. Yeah, he yeah. signed a contract for uh plus a hundred and eighty five million plus. No, you even know? though he's got an upcoming contract or something like that, right? That that's that's what's gonna kick in at the end of this year because wow. right now he's still in his rookie contract. Wow. So um, you know, this man was the rookie of the year. He was the most improved player. And, you know, he just needs to be mindful of who he's hanging out with, man. Right, right, you right. You know, if, if if those people are not telling you, hey man, what you're doing is messed up. You need, to, you need to start, you know, figuring out who you need to be hanging out with, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Look, it was crazy. I mean, I saw the live that he did, um, and he was like, he had his own strip club going on, and, and he was hanging out. He looked like a straight gangster, you know? And it's crazy because a lot of people look up to, to uh, John Morant, and um, a lot of young folk, you know, a lot of young kids, uh, older, everybody looks up to this guy's a national, international superstar, I must say, you know, but the fact that you see him doing things that gangsters do, I mean, I get it. We're, we are all influenced by hip hop. We're all influenced by, by money and things like that. But the guys out here, first of all, he flashes a gun and, you know, this stuff is being recorded. There's no way he's going to erase that, you know, on the internet. The internet's forever, bro. I wasn't there live with him, but obviously, you know, we saw the pre-recorded video of it, mm -hmm. and uh, and and I was looking in the background. I saw two girls shaking it and dancing on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's crazy, John Moran. You you are need to slow down. You're going insane. You are going wild, my man. You need to slow it down. Um, you know, I think that uh, this has been a rude awakening. Like, it happens to a lot of young kids. I mean, he is 23 Two, years old, 22, right? yeah. He's 22 years old. So, you know, he's still going through a learning curve. You know, uh, this is a big stage for him, you know, having this kind of money, having this kind of stardom. Um, you know, what, what are your thoughts on how he's going to move forward from here on out? Well, um, he needs to just evaluate um, who he's hanging out with. He needs to evaluate the people that are around him and figure out if they really, truly have his best interest at heart or if they're just there for the ride. They're just there for the money. Because let's be honest, you know what I'm saying? He, he's a guy that didn't come from a place where um, most guys, like, uh, you know, Allen Iverson came from a really rough, you know, right, uh, right. past, and he had to take some licks to get to the NBA. Right. You know, Jan Morant um, had a difficult path to the NBA as well, but... He, he's not from, you know, what the so-called hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't come from that upbringing. You know, he's got a mother and father at home. They were both, you know, college athletes. Right. And, and he just has no need to be out here acting yeah, like yeah. something that he's not. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, you know Stephen A. Smith covered Allen Iverson for about 10 years. And, you know, he, he said it himself, listen, it was... It was a rough journey covering that young man and all the stuff that he was getting into. And you and I both know that Allen Iverson got out the game early because he had to, right? Yeah, he, you know, he basically got um, ran off the NBA. You know, some people would say that he got ran off the NBA and he wasn't, you know, because he, he just wasn't molding to to whatever they 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 wanted to do. You know, in fact, the reason why they have you know, a dress code now for the NBA is because of, you know, people like Allen Iverson. Right, right. Things like that, so. And then John Moran is, is is a spitting image. You know, a lot of people compare him to Allen Iverson in a way. Yeah. Just because of the way he plays, first of all. 
Um, he's amazing. He can dunk. He's a slasher. Um, he, he is a great passer. His basketball IQ for the age that he's in is up there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, a lot of people do compare to, like, the greats, like Allen Iverson. But if if you're going to be doing the crazy shit that Allen Iverson did in his day, then John Morant, you know that you're basically your story is already written. Right, my friend? Listen, for sure. If you, you know the reason why we write down our history and we record our history throughout the world is so that we can learn from our mistakes. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? You realize that you don't want to get into a brawl like they did in the palace. You know, you know the Pacers back in the day they had that big brawl. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get into something like that. You don't want to get into into something like what you know Alan Iverson was being accused of. You don't want to get into any kind of problems. That's why all that stuff is recorded yeah. and saved on the internet and all this other stuff. And if you're out here. You know, showing these guns and catching charges, and you know, mind you, this 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 is the latest thing that came out against John Moran. You know, over you know, he's being accused of last summer punching a seventeen year old in the, in the face and then flashing a gun and then going to the mall and sitting here and and uh, attacking and uh, um, intimidating the the mall security. You know, over an argument. So like, he needs to you know take a beat, sit down, and think right. about what he's doing. Right. Right. So he, he's been in a few altercations already, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's been reports coming out. It, uh, uh, it came out of the, at the beginning of the week. They came out with a report of him, you know, punching the 17-year-old. And then, the, you know, because they were playing a pickup game at John Moran's house. And then, you know, things got heated. You know, things happen in the basketball court. Sometimes, you know, you get fouled, you get mad or whatever the case is. But, you know, he ended up punching this kid. And then, you know, they went and got the gun. John Moran allegedly... Um, came out of the house with a gun, flashed it, and, and you know, um, you know, John Moran said that he was defending himself because the the kid was the one that you know, you know, attacked him. So you know, we don't know what's going on, but it's just things that are being you know coming out to light that you know this is creating a pattern of of whatever he's doing. Yeah, know? yeah. Well, we all know John Moran's been been having a lot of run ins. So. You know, the the future of this superstar basketball player, unless he cleans up his act, I don't think he's going to be in the NBA for a very long time. You know, a lot of times, you know, a lot of these NBA franchises don't want problems like superstars like this. And then you end up seeing them just kind of fade away throughout time. That's kind of like the thing, you know. No star is too great. The NBA is the one who decides whether you are going to be a superstar or not. I mean, you can be great, but if you don't behave and conduct yourself in a way that is appeasable to the national television, to the masses, you're basically going to be stuck. For sure. That is a fact. The NBA don't care about who you know, what you got, and any any of that. You know, you make a mistake that pisses off enough people, you will get, you know, run out of the NBA, and then you're going to have to crawl your way back. You know, look at what happened to Myers Leonard a couple of years back. He right. Made, he made that, you know, anti-Semitic comment on the, on the Internet, and, you know, he just found his way back into the NBA. Recently. Right. I heard somebody picked him up. Who picked uh, him? The Bucks, I think they picked him up. Oh, wow. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, but look, look, uh, I tell you right now, Stephen A. Smith has some good stuff to say. We're going to run a little bit of his clip and hear what he said and then, you know, give you guys our, our information and comments on that. But definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe and turn on the notifications. This is Jose the Riz. I'm hanging out with Fernando. You already know, and this is how we do it, guys. Let's go, baby.